Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells, and yeah, we'll hop in it here. A busy slate today. Recording this video a little late today, so uh, there is 11.35 game, which is the Dodgers and Rays, so this video probably will be uploaded somewhere around that time or a little after but uh, all the other games start at 135 so uh this should be out by then but uh first matchup we got the los angeles dodgers versus the tampa bay rays rays opening up as home favorites at minus 125 with the over under at nine dodgers coming into this matchup 32 and 21 the rays 38 and 16 Pitching for the Dodgers is Gavin Stone with an ERA of 10.12. Pitching for the Rays is Josh Fleming with an ERA of 3.59. Fleming, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had two strikeouts. Um, Stone, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had one strikeout. He's given up nine runs in his last two starts, hasn't been the best on the mound. Uh, Rays. I believe coming off the loss yesterday to the Dodgers. Yeah, they are coming off that loss. Winning the game prior. Um, it was a tough game yesterday, but uh, I like the Rays to bounce back today. I haven't really lost two consecutive games um, really in a while here in that Met series they did here, but uh, I like the Rays at home. Uh, Stone just giving up too many runs here and uh, Fleming's been good on the mound. I think I'm gonna roll with the Rays at home Next matchup we've got the San Diego Padres versus the New York Yankees Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 140 the Padres plus 125 with the over under at 8 Padres coming into this matchup 24 and 28 the Yankees 31 and 23 Pitching for the Padres is Hugh Darvish with an ERA of 3.67. Pitching for the Yankees is Garrett Cole with an ERA of 2.53. Darvish, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. Cole, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up five runs, had two strikeouts. Padres coming off that one run uh, Yankee loss yesterday, three to two. Uh, I mean, the Padres, you know, they're two and four against the Yankees. Haven't been the greatest head to head here. I'd say it's a pretty even pitching matchup. Uh, Cole coming off a very bad start, giving up five runs here. I still think the Padres are good underdogs. And um, I'm going to take a shot with the Padres plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 135. The Rangers plus 115 with the over under at eight and a half. Rangers coming into this matchup 33 and 18. Baltimore 33 and 19. Pitching for the Rangers is Dane Dunning with an ERA of 1.67. Pitching for Baltimore is Kyle Bradish with an ERA of 4.34. Dunning, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up one run, had three strikeouts. He's been very good on the mound here. He's only given up four runs in his last three starts. Bradish, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up four runs, had three strikeouts. Bradish has been good as well. He's only given up five runs in his last three starts. Rangers coming off a... Um, had the big win, 12-2 against Baltimore in that game before. Um, but then they had a big win yesterday as well. Um... Let me see. Yeah, winning five to three. Some of these stats aren't even. Some of these sites I use, they don't update the day before, so I have to manually look them up, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, Rangers winning five to three yesterday. Nice win for the Rangers. They've been a very good underdog here. How crazy they've been! I think they've been the better team this series. Tough when you get two good teams because you're naturally going to get a good team that's a underdog, and that's just how this series is. I think I'm still going to roll with the Rangers plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Chicago White Sox versus the Detroit Tigers. The Detroit opening up, uh, actually the White Sox are opening up as home favorites at minus 115. 
Detroit minus 105 with the over under at 8. White Sox coming into this matchup 22 and 32. Detroit 24 and 26. Pitching for the White Sox is Dylan Cease with an ERA of 4.60. Pitching for Detroit is Eduardo Rodriguez with an ERA of 2.19. Cease, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs at three strikeouts. Rodriguez, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs had nine strikeouts. The White Sox uh, coming off a Detroit loss in the last game. Yeah, tough loss for the White Sox here. Crazy. They really do struggle against Detroit. One and five against Detroit. Six and 14 on the road. Not the best road team here. Uh, pretty even pitching matchup in this one. And um, I'm seeing different lines here. I, for, you know the favorite and the underdog i think i'll take a shot with detroit at home uh get them plus money if you can but uh yeah i think i'll take a shot with the tigers in this one next matchup we got the st louis cardinals versus the cleveland guardians cardinals opening up as road favorites at minus 140 cleveland plus 120 with the over under at eight and a half cardinals coming into this matchup 24 and 30 the guardians 22 and 29 Pitching for the Cardinals is Jordan Montgomery with an ERA of 4.55. Pitching for the Guardians is Hunter Gaddis with an ERA of 5.26. Montgomery, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up four runs at four strikeouts. Gaddis, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs at four strikeouts. St. Louis coming off a Cleveland loss. Actually, that isn't correct. Man, oh, it's going to be like this today. This, the Yesterday's stats just aren't updated. Cardinals uh, coming off a 2-1 win against the Guardians yesterday. Nice win for the Cardinals. Um, but, eh, Montgomery really hasn't been that good on the mound. Uh, he's given up 13 runs in his last three starts. Gaddis has given up 11, so it's a pretty even pitching matchup here. Both pitchers given up their fair share of runs. Um, kind of a tough one here. I think I'm gonna take a shot with the Guardians plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we get the San Francisco Giants versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Giants opening up as road favorites at minus 135. The Brewers plus 115 with the over under at eight and a half. Giants coming into this matchup 27 and 25. The Brewers also 27 and 25. Pitching for the Giants is Alex Cobb with an ERA of 2.17. Pitching for the Brewers is Colin Rhea with an ERA of 4.71. Cobb, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up three runs, had eight strikeouts. Rhea, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had four strikeouts. Um, Giants yesterday... We're able to beat the Brewers three to one. Um, they've been dominant this series on a three game winning streak. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the Brewers, but they really just haven't been able to score. They scored two runs in their last three games here. Not sure what's going on with the Brewers and uh, I'm just going to ride the hotter team and I'm going to take the Giants on the road. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Minnesota Twins. Uh both teams in a pick'em scenario, minus 105 with the over under at eight and a half. Toronto coming into this matchup 27 and 26. Minnesota 27 and 25. Pitching for Toronto is Jose Barrios with an ERA of 4.42. Pitching for the Twins is Bailey Ober with an ERA of 2.55. Barrios, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run. Had five strikeouts. Ober, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, and had two strikeouts. Toronto uh, coming off a loss yesterday, eight to or nine to seven, close game yesterday. It's been a flip flop series here with both teams uh, trading wins. Toronto is just two and eight in their last ten. I mean, they really have been struggling. Minnesota hasn't been playing well either. This is a tough series to bet on because both teams uh, have just been struggling to win. Uh, so it's just been really flip-flop 
and um pretty even pitching matchup here uh we'll go, i'm gonna take a shot with the underdog which looks like it is the twins and um i think i'll take a shot with the twins plus one and a half at home next matchup we got the washington nationals versus the kansas city royals um I'll, I really I don't see any lines for this game, which is strange. Let me look really quick while I'm recording. Why not? Um, Nationals and Royals. Uh, it's an even money. Okay, it is even money with the over-under at 9. So both teams are in a pick em scenario. Yeah, the sites are messed up today, guys. Not getting the best info, which is unfortunate. But that's how it goes. But uh, pitching for the Nationals is Mackenzie Gore with an ERA of 3.88. Pitching for the Royals is Dylan Lynch with an ERA of zero. Gore, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. It looks like Lynch making his first start of the season here for the Royals. Washington. Um, let's see, the Nationals coming off a 4-2 to win against the Royals yesterday. Yeah, the Royals have just looked so awful and really don't want to touch Kansas City at this point. And um, I'm going to pick them. I'm going to take the Nationals on the road. Next matchup, we got the Cincinnati Reds versus the Chicago Cubs. Cubs opening up as home favorites at minus 150. The Reds plus 125 with the over under at 9. Reds coming into this matchup 23 and 29. The Cubs 22 and 29. Pitching for the Reds is Graham Ashcraft with an ERA of 5.57. Pitching for the Cubs is Drew Smiley with an ERA of 2.93. Ashcraft, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up seven runs, had five strikeouts. Uh, Smiley, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Yeah, Ashcraft, he's given up 17 runs in his last three starts here. He has been horrible on the mound. Reds um, on a two-game winning streak, back-to-back -back big wins against the Cubs here. Cubs definitely struggling this series so far here, but I really like the Cubs to bounce back today. Uh, Ashcraft has been so bad on the mound, and a great time for the Cubs to get a win uh, with him on the mound. I'm going to roll with Chicago at home. Next matchup, we've got the New York Mets versus the Colorado Rockies. Mets opening up as road favorites at minus 150. Colorado plus 120 with the over-under at 12. Mets coming into this matchup 27 and 26. The Rockies 23 and 30. Pitching for the Mets is Tyler Megal with an ERA of 4.32. Pitching for the Rockies is Austin Gomber with an ERA of 6.48. Megal, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up four runs, had five strikeouts. Gomber, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Uh, the Mets. Let's see. Back losing to the Rockies yesterday, 10 to 7. Uh, tough loss yesterday for the Mets here. Uh, they've been, you know, they've been decent so far in this series. They've been playing well. Um, uh, I'd say even pitching matchup, Gomber has been the worst pitcher out of the two. I still like the Mets on the road, and um, I'm gonna roll with New York in this one. Next matchup, we got the Houston Astros versus the Oakland Athletics. Houston opening up as road favorites at minus 270. Oakland plus 200 with the over under at eight. Houston coming into this matchup 30 and 21. Oakland 10 and 44. Pitching for the Astros is Christian Javier with an ERA of 3.07. Pitching for Oakland is Luis Medina with an ERA of 6.45. Javier, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run at five strikeouts. He's been very good on the mound. Medina, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs at four strikeouts. Houston coming off a 6-3 win yesterday. Uh, yeah, they've been great in this series. Oakland on a 10-game losing streak. Don't want any part of the A's, and uh, we're rolling with the Astros on the road. 
Next matchup, we got the Miami Marlins versus the Los Angeles Angels. Angels opening up as home favorites at minus 135. Miami plus 125 with the over under at eight and a half. Miami coming into this matchup uh, 27 and 26. The Angels 28 and 25. Pitching for the Marlins is Yuri Perez with an ERA of 3.86. Pitching for the Angels is Patrick Sandoval with an ERA of 3.47. Perez, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Sandoval, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Miami, um, yeah, coming off back-to-back -back wins against LA here, back-to-back uh, -back underdog wins too, which has been nice for them here. And um, it's a pretty even pitching matchup. And uh, yeah, they've been the better team this series, still getting underdog money. I'm going to take Miami plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Boston Red Sox versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona opening up as home favorites at minus 110. Boston plus 100 with the over under at nine. Boston coming into this matchup 28 and 24. Arizona 29 and 23. Pitching for Boston is Tanner Houck with an ERA of 4.99. Pitching for Arizona is Merrill Kelly with an ERA of 3.30. Alk, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run at eight strikeouts. Kelly, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Boston, uh, coming off back-to-back -back wins against Arizona, uh, a two-to-one win yesterday, definitely a close one, but yeah, they've been a good, good underdog this series so far. Actually, they, they were a favorite in that first game here, but uh, getting underdog value, it's an even pitching matchup. I'm going to take Boston plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home favorites at minus 145. The Pirates plus 120 with the over under at eight and a half. Um, Pirates coming into this matchup 26 and 25. The Mariners 27 and 25. Pitching for the Pirates is Luis Ortiz with an ERA of 4.02. Pitching for Seattle is Marco Gonzalez with an ERA of 5.68. Ortiz, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Gonzalez, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Uh, Pittsburgh coming off a tough loss yesterday, losing five to zero. Both teams trading a win so far in this one. Um, I'd say it's a pretty even pitching matchup. Gonzalez did have that very that eight run game against Boston two games ago here. Um, I kind of like the Pirates to bounce back here, getting good underdog value. I'm gonna take a shot with the Pirates plus one and a half on the road. In the last matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Braves opening up as big home favorites at minus uh, 280. Philly plus 200 with the over under at eight and a half. Philly's coming into this matchup 25 and 27. The Braves 31 and 21. Pitching for the Phillies is Dylan Covey with an ERA of 3.0. Pitching for the Braves is Spencer Strider with an ERA of 2.97. Uh, it looks like Covey's getting his first start of the season for the Phillies here. And uh, Strider, his last start, he's been pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had 11 strikeouts. He's been uh, great on the mound, four and two on the mound so far. Uh, Phillies coming off back-to-back -back wins against Atlanta, uh, winning a tough one, close one yesterday here. I really like the Braves to bounce back today with Strider on the mound. Um, I think the Braves get it done here after these couple, couple consecutive losses. I'm going to take a shot with the Braves at home. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.